everyone, welcome back to my channel. On today's video I'll be talking about some of the Norwegian habits. So things that Norwegians have the habit to do on a daily basis or just like in life in general. And I have to start with this one because it was the first thing that came to my mind when I was thinking about like a list of things for this video and it's leaving early on Fridays and I'm filming this on a Friday so it suits this very well. The thing is Fridays for Norwegians is the beginning of the weekend if you know what I mean. So a lot of people leave work early like early early or take the Friday off. In architecture I think it's easy to take the Friday off especially if you work more hours during the week then you take Friday off or you leave Friday after lunch or just like one or two hours early because you know it's weekend and I just think in general Norwegians are way less productive on a Friday because they just want like the weekend to start. It's also on Fridays that you have the Fredagskakke uh, which is also a Norwegian habit so on Fridays at work the company will buy cakes or like someone will bake a cake and take it like in turns every Friday it's a different person uh, so yeah there's like dessert on Fridays. Another habit that Norwegians have also related to work is they would stop working to see the winter games. <laughs> so winter games are a very big thing in Norway. Norwegians go crazy with winter games especially when it's related to cross-country and well, Norway is really good on winter games, so maybe that's why. It's so important that when the winter games are going on on the TV and if it's in the middle of a work day, Norwegians would stop everything to see the winter games or would like watch them at the same time they're working and they're not afraid of showing that to people because everyone else is doing the same thing and talking about it, so yeah. Another thing that is a Norwegian habit and it's something that actually shocked me a bit when I came to Norway is that if you have a baby and you have a ba like a baby stroller and for example you go into a store or you go to have dinner in a restaurant firstly you leave the stroller outside so sometimes you see like 10 strollers at the door of a restaurant but imagine that your baby is actually sleeping inside the stroller and you don't want to wake him up, you know, and you can't take the stroller inside to the restaurant, then you leave your baby in the stroller outside. You try to keep an eye on your baby, but you leave it outside. And this is like, this happens, okay? Do not tell me in the comments that this doesn't happen because I've seen it happening a lot of times and for me this is just so strange. In Portugal no one would leave their baby alone at the door of a restaurant so it's definitely a cultural thing. I'm not like I'm not saying it's bad or good. For me it's just strange. I would be very like anxious about it um, but yeah you see it happening. Another Norwegian habit is the kveldmat. This is when you eat around 8 o'clock, maybe 7, 7, 8, I would say between 7 and 9, just correct me if I'm wrong, just write it down on the comments. Because Norwegians have dinner so early that then they would need something to eat if they're hungry before going to bed, so later in the evening, and that's the kveldsmat, so they would have dinner between 5 to 6 or 4.30 to 6 maybe? and then they would have the kveldsmat afterwards if they're hungry. So kveldsmat would be like the normal dinner for, for countries like Portugal and Spain and France and their dinner would be our like middle afternoon snack probably. <laughs> Another Norwegian habit and this one you probably know if you watch my channel because I do it all the time is going on hita tours, so cabin trips. They would have a house in the middle of the mountain, the forest, close to a lake or just like a snowy place and they would drive there. A lot of people do it every weekend um, to just relax and do some sports, maybe cross country, go on a canoe trip in the lake, mainly just relax in your cabin. 
another Norwegian habit is matpakke and this is when you go to work and you don't have lunch there or just go to a place in general like kids have this they take mat pocket to school if the school does not give lunch um, and it's literally just like a sandwich it is a sandwich but most of the times they do it it's actually really funny so imagine a box and instead of having like a whole sandwich with bread up and down on the box and just take it or just like wrap it like this no they have one slice of bread then they put something on top let's say cheese and ham and then they put another slice of bread but not to top that one it's just it will be another one you know so and then if they put cheese again so when they take it out of the box they just take one bread with something on top eat it and then there's just another bread with something on top eat it you know what i mean it's just like layered bread with something on top and that's mat pocket another thing norwegians would do every single year so it's an habit is during summer when it's time to pick all these blueberries all these uh, blackberries you know like there's so many berries in norway around like I think from July to September there's a lot of different types of berries that are ripped to pick then Norwegians will go to the forest with their families pick all these berries in like big baskets and then get home and do jam with it big jars of jam and it would have the jam for the rest of the year the next habit is not a good one at all I actually really think it's very strange and a little bit of little bit disgusting as well it's snooze so i've talked about this in other videos in our way it's not a big habit smoking not so much which i love but instead they use snooze which is a little package like a little bag with tobacco inside i guess and you put it between your upper lip and your gum and it just stays there and it gives you a feeling I will never try it because it's just it's too weird for me I also don't smoke so I don't have any interest but it's a big Norwegian habit and a big part of the culture here actually the next one is hattitude and I think I need to make a video just for <laughs> for this topic but if I have to explain it quickly it's when Norwegians go to Sweden to buy things they need because in Sweden things are cheaper and this can be food, this can be clothes, um, you name it. The last habit Norwegians have is to go on jentetuds and gutetuds and this is when all the guys arrange or all the girls if it's jentetud arrange a trip together to some place it can be to another country it also can be to like a huge cabin here in Norway it really depends but this is very very common I actually think Jentetur like the girls a trip is more common than the other I'm not sure let me know in the comments but I think like having like a big group of friends that are really close to you and go all together every year or like in two or two months just go on a Yente tour or a good tour it's a thing I have more habits on this list but as you see it's getting darker and darker on my video so I'll have to end this for now so if you want to watch a part two of this video just let me know in the comments give this video a massive thumbs up and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!